Picture yourself trekking across the sun-baked deserts of southern Africa where survival is a daily challenge. Amid the dry, reddish soil and tough shrubs, something bizarre breaks through the earth. It's not a typical plant, no leaves, no stem, just a fleshy, brownish-gray head emerging from the sand. This is Hydnora africana, a plant so strange it looks more like a creature than a flower. Its thick leathery lobes peel back to reveal a startling salmon pink interior, resembling a monstrous mouth. There are no petals or bright colors, just a silent alien presence in the desert. For locals it's a familiar oddity, but for outsiders it's a shocking discovery. Hydnora africana challenges everything we expect from plants, forcing us to question our assumptions about nature. Its appearance is so unusual it's often mistaken for a fungus or even a desert-dwelling animal. The plant's texture is fleshy, its color earthy, and its form utterly unique. This first encounter is just the beginning of a journey into one of nature's most remarkable survival stories. To truly understand Hydnora africana, we must look beneath the sand, where its secrets are hidden. The mystery of this desert bloom invites us to explore the limits of adaptation. What lies beneath this strange surface? The answer is a tale of survival and ingenuity. Let's dig deeper into the world of Hydnora africana. The real story of Hydnora africana unfolds underground where it spends nearly its entire life. This plant is a parasite living in darkness attached to the roots of euphorbia shrubs. It doesn't need sunlight or photosynthesis, instead it siphons water and nutrients from its host. Its main body is a thick, warty rhizome that spreads horizontally searching for roots to tap into. This underground existence shields it from the desert's extremes and hungry herbivores. Hidnora's seeds must find a euphorbia root to survive. A risky journey but once connected, the plant is set for life. The haustorium, a specialized root, penetrates the host's tissues, drawing sustenance without killing the host. It's a delicate balance. Hidnora needs its host healthy to survive. For months or years there's no sign of the plant above ground, it grows slowly conserving energy, a hidden player in the desert ecosystem. This parasitic lifestyle is a masterclass in adaptation, allowing Hydnora to thrive where few plants can. Only when conditions are right does it send up its bizarre flower, revealing itself to the world. The visible bloom is just the final act in a long secret life beneath the sand. Hydnora's underground strategy is the foundation of its survival. Most plants are green, thanks to chlorophyll, the pigment that powers photosynthesis. Hydnora africana breaks all the rules. It has no chlorophyll, no leaves, and no stem. Its entire body is a pale, brownish network of rhizomes, perfectly adapted for parasitism. Without the need for sunlight, it's stripped down to essentials, absorb nutrients, reproduce, survive. The flower's thick, fleshy lobes aren't petals, but tough structures built to push through hard soil. Camouflaged in earthy tones, the flower blends into the desert, only revealing its bright pink interior when open. Inside, bristly hairs line the surface, all pointing downward, a clue to its unusual pollination strategy. Hidnora wastes no energy on unnecessary features. Every part serves its parasitic lifestyle. Its radical design is a testament to evolution's creativity. The plant's only above-ground feature is its flower, a marvel of adaptation. Hidnora's existence proves that life can thrive without sunlight or greenery. It's a living example of how evolution can strip away the unnecessary and focus on survival. The flower's appearance is a direct result of its underground, parasitic life. Hidnora africana is one of the world's most unusual vascular plants. It's a reminder that nature's rules are made to be broken. Hidnora africana doesn't use color to attract pollinators, it uses scent, and not a pleasant one. When ready to pollinate, the flower emits a powerful stench of rotting meat or dung. This foul odor is no accident, it's evolved to mimic decay, luring in carrion and dung beetles. These beetles, searching for food or a place to lay eggs, are drawn straight to the flower. The scent comes from a spongy tissue called the osmophore at the flower's base. The chemical compounds released are nearly identical to those of decomposing matter. In the harsh desert, this mimicry is a brilliant solution. Beetles are abundant, and the smell ensures they find the flower. The plant offers no nectar, just a false promise. The beetles are tricked, but essential for Hidnora's survival. This is nature's dark ingenuity, using deception to ensure pollination. Hydnora africana is a master of chemical communication. Lured by the scent, beetles crawl into the Hydnora flower only to find themselves trapped. 
Downward pointing bristles line the inner walls making entry easy but escape nearly impossible. The beetles are held captive, unharmed in a humid, safe chamber. As they wander they brush against the anthers becoming coated in pollen. The flower keeps them inside for a day or two, ensuring thorough pollination. When the time is right the bristles soften, and the beetles are released. Now dusted with pollen they fly off, soon to be lured by another Hydnora flower. The process repeats. Beetles enter, get trapped, and transfer pollen to the next flower's stigma. This ingenious trap guarantees cross-pollination. The flower is both lure and prison, manipulating its visitors with precision. Hidnora's reproductive strategy is as strange as its appearance. It's a perfect example of adaptation in action. The plant's survival depends on this remarkable system. From the beetle's perspective, the Hidnora flower is a deceptive trap. Drawn by the scent of decay, the beetle enters, expecting food or a breeding site. Inside it finds only a spongy white tissue and no reward. The bristly walls that allowed easy entry now block escape. The beetle is trapped, but the chamber is safe, dark and humid. Some scientists believe the flower even provides warmth, making the stay comfortable. During captivity, the beetle becomes thoroughly coated in pollen. After a day or two, the bristles relax and the beetle escapes unharmed. It leaves carrying pollen, ready to repeat the cycle at another flower. The beetle is an unwitting courier, essential to Hidnora's life cycle. This temporary imprisonment is a small price for the plant's survival. The interaction is a fascinating example of nature's complex relationships. Hidnora's strategy ensures its continued existence in the desert. The beetle's journey is a vital link in this extraordinary story. After pollination Hidnora's story continues underground. The flower withers, but a fruit begins to develop at its base, hidden beneath the soil. This large fleshy berry can grow as big as a fist, packed with thousands of seeds in a gelatinous pulp. The thick, leathery skin protects it as it matures drawing nutrients from the host plant. This underground fruiting or geocarpy is rare. Hidnora's method is even more secretive than the peanuts. The fruit remains buried until ripe, safe from heat and drought. When mature, it releases a sweet aroma that seeps through the soil. This scent attracts animals skilled at digging, like jackals, baboons, and tortoises. The plant switches from deception to genuine reward offering a nutritious meal. Hidnora's fruit is a hidden treasure vital for seed dispersal. For desert animals, finding a Hidnora fruit is a rare treat, rich in water and nutrients. Jackals, baboons, and other creatures dig up the fruit, feasting on its sweet starchy pulp. As they eat, they swallow the seeds which pass unharmed through their digestive systems. The animals travel, dispersing seeds in their droppings, complete with natural fertilizer. This partnership helps Hidnora spread far from the parent plant. Humans too have long valued the fruit, eating it raw or roasted and using it in traditional medicine. Known as Jakalskos, it's a local delicacy and remedy for various ailments. The fruit's tannins give it astringent properties, valued by indigenous peoples. Hidnora Africana is more than a curiosity, it's a resource woven into local culture. Even the strangest plants can play vital roles in their ecosystems and human lives. Hidnora Africana's journey, from hidden parasite to foul-smelling flower to buried fruit, defies expectations. It's a plant with no leaves, no green, and no need for sunlight. Its flower tricks beetles with the scent of decay, while its fruit rewards animals for spreading its seeds. Every feature is a masterpiece of adaptation to desert life. Hidnora shatters our ideas of what a plant can be, showcasing evolution's boundless creativity. Its story is a reminder that nature's wonders are often hidden in the most unlikely places. Each strange adaptation tells a tale of survival and connection. Protecting such species means preserving the intricate web of life they support. Hidnora Africana inspires awe and curiosity, urging us to look closer at the world around us, in the end, it's proof that nature's imagination truly knows no bounds.